Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. Today we're going to have a look at the Radio Master. Just before we start, if you've not subscribed to my channel already, please do think about it. It doesn't cost anything, just hit the button, the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out uh, on videos. There's another video coming on this. Um, but it does mean a lot to my channel. I am completely self-funded. I have no adverts, as you will see. There's no adverts on this channel. Uh, just do me a favour and hit the subscribe button. So, this is what we're going to look at today. This is the Radio Master T16. T8. What am I on about? T8. They do this in a pro and a non-pro version. So, the difference is... I'll pop up on the screen, actually, and show you on the screen any second now you'll see on the screen um back here somewhere what the difference is but the main difference is as you're going to see reading down there is the fact that this one has a screen which isn't on it at the minute which i'll show you in a minute it has hall effect gimbals it has cnc gimbal face in other words this part is made of CNC. It's got you. They both got USB charging, and the rest of it is pretty much the same. Both got an SD card slot, so you can put an SD card in this. It doesn't come in one. Put an SD card in, which I'll show you later. It will give you the sound files, which you would normally get on OpenTX. Now this is a full version of OpenTX on this one. It is not a full version of OpenTX on the normal. It just has preset OpenTX, where this has got full OpenTX and is fully supported by OpenTX. The other one isn't. And this one also has Hall Effect gimbals, which is nice. And they do feel really nice, to be honest. I like the feel of these. There's quite a lot of movement in the sticks. There's nice spring back on these, but they do feel quite nice. As you will see, this is a CC2500 single chip. This is not completely um I've forgotten the word for it um this you cannot bind this to anything you want this only has certain things it will bind to and i will sure put up on the screen the main things that are supported and you will see the main thing is obviously fr sky because that's going to be what this thing mainly is so it's got fr sky d16 d8 Radio Link, Gropner, HOTT, SFHSS, which is the bind and fly version of Fataba. So Fataba do some model which bind and fly. High Tech and Corona. And that's what we, this will do. So remember, this is not fully multi protocol. This will not do Spectrum. This will not do Fly Sky. And you cannot buy a version that does. This comes in at, I think I paid. 40 odd pound for it. So let me check what I paid. 49.95, 50 quid. So I paid 49.95 from this for one man tech in the UK. And I had it next day delivered. So really nice. It has built in battery. As you will see. So the battery is built in. On the front, you have a battery meter here. And in the top, you have a little cover that comes off that will allow you to. Charge it by USB C and also on there is a trainer port. The one thing you will see missing, the obvious thing you will see missing, no antenna. So it has a built in antenna, does this, and it, this one does not have a. Um, this does not have a module bay on the back, even though it might look like it's got one. This comes off. <laughs> And if you look at the pins are different, totally different than the module bay, so you can't actually fit the module bay in the back of one of these. I'll just turn it off. But it comes with, if you buy the pro version, the LCD screen. So this screen goes on to, clips onto the back here, using the pins here, and this gives you a full display so you can get into anything you can on OpenTX, any other uh, standard open TX transmitter. This simply clips on the back here, locks in place, and then when you turn it on, we've now got a screen. Like I say, we've no sound because uh, there's no sound filing. I'll show you 
in a bit. We will stick an SD card in so I can show you the file. But there you will see the screen. The screen is usable. And the other thing this then gives you is trims. So these are your trim controls for your fixed wing pilots out there. That's what they do. Um, you have two position switch, two position switch, three position switch, three position switch. Big advantage this has got over the E, um, can't remember the T light from Jumper. I can get my fingers in there easily to fly so then you're not catching switches switches are smaller on the back of here you do have two finger supports these pop out but i cannot get them out to save my life without a tool you need a screwdriver or something to pop them out and they've just popped them back in so i can't unfortunately get them out and see if i can with this no they've been recessed far too deep but they come out and the idea is you can rest your fingers i'll pop them out in a minute so you can have a look so like you see on the top of here, these are your buttons. So on this side we have a system button. So that lets us into our system. And then we have a page up and a page down. And on the other side we have our model. So like, hang on, let's have to exit back out. And then on this side we have our model. And same thing. Click through our pages. I hope that's in focus. Sorry about this. Got a strange light today. I think it's in focus anyway. But you get the general idea. So the screen is very usable. It looks a little bit strange. It's not a... Some transmitters... I'm quite used to transmitters having a screen at the top. So that's not what bothers me. It is quite floppy. So as you can see it's not the best. It would have been better had a screw been used here. Something to clamp it down there. Maybe the two screws. But the idea is, of course, once you've set this thing up and you've got all your models set up on this, you might not need the screen again. I find it a bit bizarre, actually, they've done this. But to me, that should have been be uh, better fitted. So you do a version. iFlight do this as well. This is licensed to iFlight, and it comes with one of the packages they do, but it doesn't come as a pro version. It comes with no screen, but I believe you can shortly buy it by pro. I haven't seen many videos on this, so I'm presuming it's obviously quite new to the market. Um, well, I, I knew it. I mean, you can't get it in China. I've seen it. it's April, mid mid to end of April. They're giving a date of on Banggood. So, we we'll leave it there. I'm going to take the back off it and let's have a look what it looks like inside. Here we go. It's stripped. If you fly mode 1 and you want one of these, I'll see if you can get it in mode 1 because this is not for the faint heart. As you can see I've had to unscrew the circuit board here. These are your gimbal wires which I've had to take out because they run inside of here. And that ribbon cable needs to come off and also that is the antenna. So your internal antenna is, if you can see that very well, it's up there and glued in. These are your pots, they are indeed Hall Effect, having checked them over. There's a magnet there, if you've never seen the Hall Effect, that's how it works. A magnet and a metal plate there, and that's what picks it up. That's your Hall Effect system. Uh, and I need to convert this to mode 1, obviously, which is why it's in bits so far. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. I can mess around with these, but probably I'm going to go for the easy way, which is to swap the pots. Because I've got this far now, I might as well just whip the pots out. In there is your single chip. That's your single chip. The switches look decent. Decent. It looks an actual decent setup. It's very nice and compact looking. What I don't like are these. These are your batteries. There's two of them, and they go in there. They go into holes here and the and all this foam does is stop them rattling about. So they actually go in like that. And then when you put the back on, it forces them down. There is four screws holding this together. One, two, three, four. And you're going to need something like a sponger to get it in bits because it's flipped all the way around. Uh, I've got a set of these, a set of sponges and a set of... You get these in it. You get all sorts of stuff in it, fancy screwdrivers. Uh, them these are mainly for stripping down um, metro consoles, so that's why I've got these. And then you're inside, but like I say, I wouldn't, it's not for the faint heart, and it's certainly for not for someone who's never had a transmitter in bits before. So I'm going to go away, I'm going to do some 
investigating and I'm going to swap them gimbals and when you see it again I'll have it back together with a cover on and then we shall talk about what I think of it basically quick cut back if you are interested in swap in doing one of these and making it world one it's really simple as just swapping the gimbals so if you can see I've taken this gimbal out and when I put it back in that side it's going to match up exactly and then swap that one over to there and all we do is go into the firmware and change this to mode one okay we're back so as you can see we're now mode one we're fully mode one the sticks feel nice now uh, a couple of things I said I would show you before I finish and give you my impressions Welcome to there you Ready go morning. you can see it's now got voice the card in this is the card that I've just taken out of my tea light so it's exactly the same card and as you can see there's no mismatch or anything so I've just copied this card so it's just a straight copy of this card so I've got a card in this one as well so there you go and the other thing I said I would show you is these finger rests so when you're holding it even if you're a thumber like me and you're holding it at the back your finger rests on it and I quite like the feel of it with my finger resting on it to be honest it goes there but they spoil the design of these things by making them hard to come out so I don't know they don't stay out they're not spring loaded or anything which would have been nice but and when you put them back in like that, they're just difficult to get out. Well, I can't get them to come out. Maybe there is a knack that I don't know. If someone knows, please let me know in the comments down below. So, there you go. You've seen it inside. I don't... Inside. Yeah, it's tricky to swap over your pot. Not impossible. It's only about 20 minutes. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. But it's done now. And I've now got it in mode 1. Like I say, if you do want to mode 1 of these... And you do want to have... Oh, you can obviously do what I want. Don't forget to calibrate your transmitter again. Once you've done that. So, you can fly this obviously with or without the screen. It's very, very light, and I think what most people are, what they're going to want to know is what's the difference. So, we'll have, I'll have a, but I'm not going to try and do that, I'm going to take ages. So, we'll have a video and tell you what I like and on this and dislike on this, and what I like on this and dislike on this. But, first impressions are feels quite nice. I like the feel of it in my hand. It does it. It feels okay. It's quite solidly built. It doesn't flex. It's fat. It's quite fat to hold, but it's not uncomfortable. I like the position the switches are in. So all that's good. So overall, that's for some bizarre reason that's katana. Get rid of that. Sorry about that. So yeah, all in all. I think it's nice. What you have to do is remember with all these radios, with this, all the um, tea light is, you're paying 50 quid. It's a 50 pound radio. What do you want for 50 pound and what can you get in the marketplace for 50 pound? Because there's not much. Apart from these two, you can get the Beta FPV that doesn't have a screen or anything on. And I think this is far better than that. And that's about all you can get for your money. So for 50 quid, is this a great start as transmitter? Yeah, absolutely. If you're flying FR Sky D8, D6 mode, especially if you're D8, D8 and D16 mode, and you're flying the indoor stuff or some of the little whoops, this is fantastic. Don't forget you can't fit any external module on this one, but can't really on this one because of the battery power both run on the same battery power except this one you have to put your own battery in this one as you've seen comes with them horrible little things but they seem to work i don't know what the battery life's like it says three to four hours so won't be bad if that's what you really get later in the week i'll have another video comparing both and do a tear down on that as well so you can see inside it and compare it to this one and that's about it. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, smack that button. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit that notification bell to get notified on videos. I have more stuff coming up on this shortly. The FDJI FPV. I've now got a black shiny canopy on mine, which looks really nice. I've got more stuff coming up on that recent in a very short period of time. Now the weather's improving. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.